Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 29th of 2023. Well, it is titled Apollo 11 catching some sun. So what do we see here? Well, here is an image taken by Neil Armstrong, first person to walk on the moon. And we see the astronaut off in the distance there, and that is Buzz Aldrin, who is the pilot of the lunar module. And we see, of course, the lunar module behind there. And we also see those footprints that astronauts left on the moon uh, showing here in the foreground. Now, this is from the Apollo 11 mission, and that was July of 1969, 54 years ago, when humans first walked on the surface of our moon. Now, what uh, Buzz Aldrin is setting up there is actually a piece of foil. And that is part of what was called the solar wind composition experiment. And the idea was to be able to capture particles from the solar wind. Now, why would we just not do that here on Earth? Why go to the moon to collect particles of the solar wind? Well, the Earth has two things that the moon doesn't that keep us from detecting some of these particles directly. One is that the Earth has an atmosphere, so particles don't make it directly down to the surface. The second is that Earth has a magnetic field which will deflect charged particles away from us. So those two things keep us from being able to detect some of those charged particles from the sun and certainly unable to do so from Earth's surface. However, using this on the moon where there is no atmosphere and no magnetic field, this foil could be used to trap solar wind particles and then was returned to Earth for study. So the collector could be left out there for the couple of days that the astronauts explored the lunar surface and then was returned to Earth along with other samples for free future study. So it was giving us a chance to sample the actual material from the sun. And those charged particles from that solar wind are traveling out throughout the solar system. So they're not just reaching the moon, they travel everywhere. But as I've already explained, they would not be detectable from someplace like Earth's surface, or even from low Earth orbit, it would be a lot harder to collect those because of different properties of the Earth. So here we look 54 years ago this month was the first time that humans walked on the moon picture taken by Neil Armstrong and then showing Buzz Aldrin setting up and one of the experiments that eventually returned some material not only from the moon but in this case also from the sun back to earth when they returned. So that was our picture of the day for July 29th of 2023. It was titled Apollo 11 catching some sun. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.